Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this effect in PowerPoint where you click on something and something displays. I'm also going to show you how when you click on it again it disappears. So we're going to start in PowerPoint. I have a brand new presentation here. Going to the Home tab of the ribbon, I'm just going to turn this into a blank layout because it's easier to work with. I'll choose the Insert tab. I'm going to insert firstly the shape that's going to be the thing that we click on. I'm just going to right click this and I'm going to type click to show more information. And then I'll create a text object for more information. So I'll go back again to the Insert tab here. This time I'm going to Text Box. I'm going to drag out a text box here. I'm going to line it up pretty much to the clickable box. I'm also going to format this. So I'll go to the Shape Format tab and I can choose a format for it. I'm just going to choose something that looks pretty much like what I had here. We can add our text into this box. I'm just going to use some very standard lorem ipsum text. Right click and choose edit text and you can add your text in here. I'm just pasting mine in here. I need to select it and make it a bit smaller. Okay, so these are the objects that we need to create this effect. And we need to make sure that when we click this object here, this is going to display. So it will help us to know what these objects are called. So from the Home tab of the ribbon, come across here to Select and click here on Selection Pane because whenever you're unsure as to what object is what, you can simply see it in the selection pane. So this is the rounded rectangle and this is the text box. This might get confusing when you actually have, for example, two rounded rectangles or two text boxes. So just be aware that you can get access to what these things are actually called from the Home tab of the ribbon with Select and then Selection Pane. So what we want to do is to show or hide this object. So this is the one we're going to start with. And we're going here to Animation. So I have it clicked to select it. I'm on the Animations tab and I want it to appear. So I'm just going to click on Appear. And then over here as its trigger, I want to have it appear on click of this rounded rectangle here. So let's just click that. So now it's set to appear when the rounded rectangle is clicked. Now we can have a quick look at that, but before we do, what I don't want to happen is for somebody to, for example, just miss click and just click here, for example, and have the entire slideshow progress forward. So what I'm going to do is to disable clicking to move the presentation forward. So let's go to Transitions and over here I'm going to disable advancing the slide on the mouse click. So you can advance the slide with the arrow keys for example but not with a mouse click. It's just going to make it a little bit more stable. So let's run this presentation. So you can see here that the information text box is not showing so I'm just going to click here to show more information and if I click elsewhere on the slide you can see that nothing is happening. If I want to progress forward I would press the arrow key or the enter key which I've just done. So, so far the animation is working to display something, but what happens if we want to get rid of it as well? So click it once to show it, click it once to remove it. So let's click on the shape again. Let's go back to the animations tab. Now this is where you're going to make a mistake. <laughs> if you're going to make a mistake, it's going to be here. You're going to come here and you're going to start to add an exit animation. What that does is it's actually going to replace the entrance animation with an exit one. What we want to do is to have two animations, an on and an off. So we have to add it here. So let's click on add animation and we're going here to the disappear animation. We already did the appear, this one's going to be the disappear. And this is going to work on the exact same trigger on click of the rounded rectangle. You can see here we've got two little flash symbols just indicating that there are two animations. So let's test that. Click to show more information, click to hide it. So it's as simple as that to create an on off animation in PowerPoint. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.